got big slots in here, dude. So we've been in this business all our lives and we're still in this business and we got wonderful helpers as you can see. Without these helpers, I don't know what we do. So when I have these wonderful apples and I have people coming from all over to get these apples. I have one man that only wants Spitzenbergs. If you don't have Spitzenbergs, he won't buy anything else. Then I have other customers that only want Macaws. If you don't want, have Macaws, they won't buy anything else. They're sold on a particular apple. The farm started uh, when my, uh, the, we, the, it was during the depression, right? My family lived in, my mother and dad lived in Milwaukee at the time. And it was a depression and they weren't getting any money. They were getting script instead of money, you know. And so they came out here to, to, to look. The, the property taxes out here were $50 a year. Can you imagine $50? They sure have gone up since then. My mother always liked apples as a little girl. She, her mother used to get Skokie apples from um, Canada. She loved these delicious. And my dad was lived in Minnesota. He was a Minnesota boy. And he loved apples, sitting under the apple tree and reading Horatio Elger stories. And so they were both people that loved apples. So they came out here and saw this farm. We had a little orchard behind the house which was planted and, and we would sell those apples on the road and my mother would make bread and, and cake and different stuff and sell on the road and everything was just wonderful and then they started to go into the orchard so when my brother and I were small we were just small I was in second grade I think he was in third grade or maybe I was in first he was in second and they dug holes they dug all the holes by hand and planted the apple trees. And of course, they got these apple trees from Stark Nursery and McKay's. Those were the two big nurseries. And from McKay's, we got the wonderful Macown apples. There's no apple like the Macown. And that's still one of our best sellers today. And then my brother, he, he, he got the whole orchard uh, bigger. Uh, he got into the varieties. He got into all these different varieties, looked up all these different nurseries, and here we are. My father did not prune the trees at all. The trees died and put their seeds in the ground. So a lot of my wild varieties that we have here, this is one of them. It's a very interesting apple.